Good morning, people. Today's walk's gonna be Lowfell and Fellbarrow. So this is the shortest walk of the Wayne Wright and 36 walks. It's literally two Wayne Wrights, around four and a half mile and two to three hours. So we've basically picked this one today because we've done the high level tour of Wastwater yesterday. We camped near here in Crummock Water, just up the road from where they start this walk, because we've got three to do around this area, but we checked the weather report for today and it says there's gale force winds later on and it's quite cloudy, so we thought we may as well just get the small one out the way and save the others for another time, as we want to get some decent views in that. Yeah, it's just looking on a GPS and it looks very short. Three hours might be a bit of an overestimation, to be honest. We're literally going over here somewhere yeah, yeah. in the clouds. They're only small fells, so it's not going to be not a major, but uh, got to get it done eventually anyway. So you can see Buttermere and Crummock Water over in the background. And there's Grassmore where we were on a week ago and it was covered in clouds. When we woke up this morning, all that was actually clear. But Emmas did say it could be quite cloudy today, so obviously they got that one right. They'd also said that the wind could be up to 50 mile an hour at certain points in the day. And on yesterday's walk, they were only up to 30 mile an hour. And if you watch the video, you can see how bad it was at points. And we were saying, do we really want to do an eight to 10 hour walk in dangerous winds? Not really. And I'd rather just get the small one out the way than waste me time. So this is ideal with it being so short. It's a nice steady ascent coming up to be honest. We're not far off the height of the first fell and we've just come in through the bottom there on a bit of a windy path. Nice and easy. Not on no one can handle. So we've just got to head straight across now to Low Fell and then return back to where we've just come from. The user Crummock are great. I've just seen a picture on the inset. That looks actually like a really good walk. Looking moody over there though. So it looks like we're just going to descend this last bit, then we're on the top. Just see the summit coming into view at the back of the hill. Fantastic views up here, even though the weather's not great. Haven't picked a bad walk to be honest. Crummock looks amazing. Low fell, 423 meters. One down, one to go. You know what, this has been good this. Tell you if you've never done the Wayne Nights, this is a good first one or first walk, just nice and easy. That's just took us just under 45 minutes. And um, look at the views, not too bad is it? Can't complain. Doesn't matter if the weather's bad. Belter up here, unreal. Another one down. Fantastic man. Yeah, fairly simple that. Nice and gradual to be fair. Looks like we're going to do this quite quick, this walk to be honest. Just a mar and a view and the rain's coming. See it all coming in through Crummock. Starting to rain a bit now, you're just spitting, but don't particularly want to get that wet, if I'm honest. Probably shoot into Keswick for some lunch, so... With it being so short, so I don't really want to get soaked. Oh, I've got spare clothes, I can't worst case. Anyway... Onto the second and last fell of the day. GPS is saying we've only got around an hour to finish, um, so it must be fairly easy to get to. And we've done all the ascents, it's just little humps. 
as you can see there, just ups and downs, but only short ones. So, should be fairly fast. Just hope this rain stays off. See a few people adding up. Must be a popular one. You can see parts of this path are very muddy. So um, if you're coming in the rain or winter, just bear that in mind. A bit slippier points. As we head over to the second fell, just see it over the distance there. a tough little bit of a scent that, out of breath, at least it's at the end of the route and I'm just going to come over this hill now to the summit and there she is, nice, nice and easy one this Stones the summer. Fell barrow 416 meters. Both way nights boxed. Nice little walk to be fair, I like it. Alter. Little jump over there, but yeah, been a good one. Can't complain, not too bad. And you know what? It's a great start to walk, Belter. Just dodged the big clouds as well. The wind must be strong because they're moving fast. That will be picking up as Emma had said. She grabbed a quick chocolate bar and got to head back to the car now. Right people, low fell and fell barrow, let's get to it. So the parking for this one, you were starting to walk in a place called Thackweight, which is here on the map, and the walk basically starts in this area around by a farm, and I'll show you where I parked. So if you drive into Thackweight, as you can see here, you might actually be able to see on this here, Say footpath low fell. So you start the walk there, and you would have seen on the video I cut through the bushes up to the fells, which are there in the background. But I parked just a bit further past here, so literally a two second walk, and there's one space which is here. As you can see, there's a farmer's fence, and you can get a car. Probably one car there 
and that's it basically. I did drive in and was looking for other parking specs if I couldn't park there and there was nothing and luckily there was no one there on the day as it was fairly early and the weather weren't the best. I've just had a quick look on Google Maps and I found other parking close by but that's where I parked. So zoom out. So I parked around here but if you just go a bit further up around here you can see where there's a bit of a junction and there is two cars here on the roadside. What I do remember was I was driving in this way and I didn't know you could actually park there. There was a tractor cutting down a tree line. You had to stop for everyone to pass them, so I didn't see these at the time. But they're literally just up the road from the start of the walk. As you can see, it's only there to there. A bit of a walk, but that other one's more ideal. There's not much going on for parking there. That's the best I could find. So here's my route. So as you can see, the route starts in Thackwick, as I said before, at Galloway Farm. This is the shortest of the 36 walks in the book by Stuart Marshall. It's only around four to five miles long. Yeah, so this area, you literally just walk through a bit of a tree line past the stream and through a bit of a farmer's field before you get onto the proper track, which is here. And to be honest, this is nice and straightforward, this. You just loop around and it's a nice gradual path very easy path before you get to this area and there's a bit of a zigzag it's a bit muddy in parts on the way over to low fell but nothing that's gonna bother you and there's a bit of a climb after you jump over a fence in this area you would have seen that in the video and yet low fell 423 meters a really good fella you had a good view of crumic water and you can see all grass moor and stuff in the background and loads of other fells around you i'll zoom out a bit I don't recall seeing loads of water, but you could see Crummock. Yeah, it's a good little fell, to be honest. And 423 is respectable. It's a lot bigger than it looks. It just seems so easy getting up there. And yeah, you basically head back on yourself and do a left here rather than going back that way over to Fell Barrow. It's a bit of mud in this area and the path nice and straightforward again. Can't miss it. This little section going up to Fell Barrow, quite steep to be fair. But we were just, we were walking quite fast, to be honest. Just trying to get it done. As you can see here, pile of stones and it's got a sig point on it. You would have seen on the video. Boss little fell and views around it again. You'd have to step over the fence just to get to it. But quite cool, yeah. Love the uh, trig points and then your little stock pile of stones. Not a lot to say about this walk. Just nice and simple. And yeah, you loop around. And on this path, the route was asking us to go down here next to the wall and cross over. There's actually a route just dropping down back onto the corner at the start. We just decided to go down here and loop back around just to add a bit on. I know you can't see no route here, but there is actually a little path running around before we ended up back here and going back on ourselves. You could have took a bit off that and went down there and it's been a bit quicker, but we weren't too bothered. And from that area, you're just walking back on yourself, basically. Not a lot for me to say. You would have seen on the video how simple it was. But I would say it's a great start to walk. If you've never done the way in right and you want to get into it, that's a really good way to introduce yourself to the way in right bagging. And it's two fells in fairly quick time. Let's look at our stats. So you can see here the elevation profile. Nice and straightforward. Track distance 4.8 miles. Time spent moving 1 hour and 47. It took us 2 hours and 4 minutes with stops. And as I say, the 36 walks website, he'd said 4.3 miles and 3 hours. But we ended up adding a bit on and it only took us 2. Any ability to be able to do that, nice and easy, mate. And it's 2 more way night in the bag. If you want to get your friends or family into way night bagging, maybe take them up this one, see what they think. As always, people, I'll link anything relevant in the description below and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.